Hello, my name is Janice Baylor and I'd like to welcome you back into my studio today for another fun and creative drop-in art session. I would like to thank Perry County Council of the Arts and their participating sponsors for continuing to bring drop-in art virtually into our homes. So today we are going to make a really fun little butterfly craft. You can make all of these rings and then have your own little butterfly menagerie. If you want to make the project, stay with me. And here are your supplies coming right up. For today's project, you will need a pair of scissors and a selection of pipe cleaners or chenille sticks. You'll need two colorful ones and one that's in a neutral color. Okay, to get started, you'll take your two colorful pipe cleaners and line them up parallel to each other, so side by side, and then we're just going to lightly twist them together in the middle just a few times to get them to connect, okay? And then you want to take your finger, because we're making a ring, and shape the pipe cleaners around your finger, and then twist each side. So there's one side that has the orange and the red, and then the opposite side, and you'll take both of those groupings and twist them around each other. Just two times is probably good, Make sure to leave a little room so you can wiggle it off of your finger. Don't twist too tight. I find that also helps sometimes if you push down at the center and that kind of um, allows a little bit of an oblong shape, which is more the shape of your finger. And then you want to spread your pieces out onto either side of the uh, twist there. And you want to bring the pieces so that your top, whichever pipe cleaner pieces you want to be the top of your butterfly are pointing in one direction together and the other pieces are pointing down in the opposite direction and then if this is going to be your bottom piece of pipe cleaner you want to cut a little bit off of each end and mine didn't get um, that even so um, at this point I'm just going to go ahead and make them even so cutting a little bit off of that one and a little bit more off of this one to make them more even and then I'm going to even these up here too, but you wouldn't normally need to cut the top ones because we want the top ones to be a little bit longer than the bottom ones. But if you didn't twist exactly in the middle, you can correct it at that point. And then all we have to do to make our wings is start folding the pipe cleaner on itself in a flat spiral. So just taking the end and twisting and pinching it in between your fingers to create a little flat spiral. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. So crimping it in toward itself and then using your fingers to roll it up until you get to the top. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other wings. So just crimping them in on each other, pinching it between both of your fingers to make a flat spiral. all the way down to the center. If you have a little trouble, you can ask your adult helper with this part, but you should be pretty good. And then just to shape it a little bit more, you can take it and pinch those spirals between your fingers if you want to shape your wings even more. And there you have your little butterfly and I've done one also in gold and white. So then to create the center, you just need to make a shorter pipe cleaner out of the neutral one. So we only need a half. So just fold the neutral colored pipe cleaner in half and then cut that off. And then we'll fold it in half again so we can find the center. And we will slip that center over our ring in between all of the wings. So up through the center where they connected and this is going to make the little fun antennae for our butterfly. And then you'll just twist that together down at the base to hold it in place. And if you want to, you can shape those antennae more too. And there you have your little butterfly ring. And 
let's do this guy since we have it out. Go ahead and slip that neutral colored one up through the center and then twist it together at the base where it meets all of the pieces. And then for this one, I think I'm just gonna make shorter antennae. So I'll just go ahead and cut that off, just like that. And now I have a whole little butterfly assortment on my hands. So thanks for joining me today, friends. Stay creative.